if this exists, uh, as we seem to be getting closer to understanding it does, what would that do? What would that mean? It may mean we get able to un we'd be able to unlock limitless energy. Let me just put it that way. It may be that we would understand the next secret of the universe, that we would know we'd be another step closer to knowing where we came from. We'd be another step closer to understanding the universe itself, which is ultimately quite a mystery to us. What is this Higgs boson God particle? At the very, very beginning of the universe. See, people here, as a matter of fact, I'm in Los Angeles, people at Mount Wilson, not far from here, notably Edwin Hubble, notice that all the stars, everything's moving apart. So he reasoned that everything was all together at one time, and this would be the Big Bang. Well, at that time, it is speculated by mathematical, elegant, physical reasoning that everything was kind of one thing. But then after the Big Bang, uh, things started to separate. Things started to take on different properties. So that pure energy, like light, has no mass. The particles of light have no mass. The particles that make up you and me, like you've probably heard mm -hmm. of protons and neutrons and electrons, they have mass. And do you know why? Uh, yeah, no. no one really is sure why. <laughs> but it could very well be that there's an exchange of particles. Nowadays, uh, we, we view these things uh, as particles. We do experiments to detect particles and you detect particles. Protons are made of, of quarks, which are held together with glue-ons. <laughs> no kidding. And so uh, it could be, it's very reasonable that uh, these other particles uh, all exist in this, in this ether that would be called, uh, named after Peter Higgs, Right. That uh, is then infused with little particles that ex that give them mass, that help them have mass. So, so let's. And this would be the Higgs boson.